Good afternoon. All right, really, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Kevin Vitale, I'm the uh, CEO of VR Studios. Uh, Chanel Summers, our VP of Creative Development, is here also, so please uh, feel free to get in contact with either one of us uh, during the course of the next two days. Um, I'm gonna give you an overview description of the company and what we offer, um, and it's really directed at the LBE operator and, and end customer, but you should know that we're very interested in uh, rela uh, relationships, alliances, partnerships, and content for these types of high-end premium experiences. So i um, love to connect with you if you have uh, things that we can uh, integrate or potentially bolt in, and you'll see the basis of that is a platform strategy that we have. The other thing is you may know VRcade more than you know VR Studios. So that's, uh, that's quite a, a, an overused term. In fact, that's our trademark term. So uh, we've, we spend a lot of time um, uh, managing that out in the marketplace, but our focus is really on, it always has been on the business of virtual reality in a commercial environment. So a, a multiplayer, free roaming, uh, highly immersive, interactive experiences from, in, from the customer's perspective. From the beginning, we were designing this thing for LBE operators, and that's all we do. We're not trying to apply VR to other applications or, uh, or other uh, types of implementations. Everything we have is powered by our platform strategy that's a product, a software, uh, cloud-based enterprise uh, class product called AMP. Um, and um, that powers not only our systems, but is built to, to work across other types of attractions, as you'll see later with our, DM, our Dave and Buster's relationship. Uh, we have uh, a variety of configurations ranging from two player to eight player, uh, from 10 by 10 to up to 40 by 60. And uh, importantly, we've got a rich portfolio of original content to support those configurations. And we've done all that based on innovation that started over six years ago. We actually had the first truly wireless free roaming headset that we uh, were, had in the marketplace ourselves, but we uh, aborted that, uh, that strategy, thankfully, and left it up to our friends that are in the hardware business uh, to, to continue to develop headsets and HMDs. And our, um, uh, our platform strategy allows us to always incorporate the latest and greatest best-in-class technology. We've shipped systems uh, around the world, multiple countries. We've been in the marketplace. The things we put into our product are based on the in-field learnings that we've had um, having product in the market for a number of years. We're super fortunate to have some great relationships in the marketplace and on the, the customer end of things, um, uh, you may have seen uh, Cineplex is not only a customer but an investor in our company. Um, and then most recently you might have seen an uh, announcement about the third title for the Dave and Busters uh, four player uh, simulator. Uh, that's their proprietary product, but Star Trek is the last uh, uh, attraction that was uh, announced for that. And uh, we, we've, uh, we power the 130 or so simulators that are around the country in every Dave & Buster's with AMP, with the same operating platform that would run any of the free roaming systems that we might be able to help you with. And then, of course, the industry side, the technology side, including our really good partners and friends in H HP and and Vive and uh, the ecosystem within uh, Microsoft. Um, you're gonna hear some interesting things about one of our, our, our products in, in, a, in a few months and uh, with one of these partners. So it's really a, really a blessing for us to have these great relationships. Uh, part of that has been also adapting the skill set that we have, this knowledge base and free roaming to be able to deliver experiences for some high profile uh, ex uh, entertainment organizations, Universal Orlando for the Halloween Horror Nights a couple years ago, Knott's Berry Farm was the first permanent VR attraction, uh, and then of course, as I just talked about, we've had multiple uh, deliveries alongside uh, and for our uh, good partner, Dave & Buster's. The core of our uh, product strategy is this thing called AMP, and that's in that middle block there, we're not gonna make this an engineering discussion, but um, at the bottom, 
it, what this allows us to do underneath that purple bar is do the heavy lifting of the integration of the best in class hardware. So the HMDs, the various tracking systems, uh, you know, different types of peripheral devices, uh, haptics if and when that's appropriate for the particular implementation, uh, working across the simulator, integrating other enterprise apps like, like uh, uh, point of sale, payment, and, and uh, also uh, in one case we've integrated with an HR system for the operators that are logging into the systems. Uh, uh, so above that is this operating platform, and in the case of Dave and Buster's, as an example, those simulators are run through a tablet computer, just a tablet, and all the, the hard stuff is, is hidden behind a login profile, depending on whether you're an operator or a technician or management, reporting, content management, licensing, distribution, that's all handled within, uh, within the uh, functionality of AMP. And then above that, of course, you've got to feed that, that system with really great content. And we've got a very rich portfolio of content that's original, as well as uh, third, adding some third-party assets. And we continue to hunt for great commercial quality content that will work in these large format free roaming experiences. Some of the ways this can be implemented, I mentioned there's different sizes, right? So there, you, you know, you, it doesn't require any specific, specific hard facility. Uh, it doesn't require any props. You can implement it with a simple trust system as we've implemented uh, the Lighthouse technologies and other things to take complexity away. Very simple to install and less difficult to calibrate and all of that. So the top right is kind of just a basic trust system with the spectator engagement. And then the other two are some examples of what's going into the Cineplex environments across the theaters and also in their rec rooms and such. One of the partners that I had on our um, uh, slide back there was Exit Reality, and at IAPA we demonstrated AMP, AMP uh, integrated into two Exit Reality enclosures. Um, they've continued to evolve their design concepts for um, both uh, our VRcade uh, Atom and our VRcade League Arena, and uh, this is the uh, the arena, and this is the Atom concept that uh, Ex Exit Reality is looking at. So. What's underneath that is the skin is different, but the technology and the content is the same, right? And AMP can also launch and manage Steam content, but we're really selective about wanting to make sure that we're offering premium uh, commercial grade experiences. As I mentioned, the, the portfolio is rich. We've, uh, we've uh, deployed uh, over 10 um, attraction is across the various sizes and systems that we have. We've got another uh, two in the works internally, and we've got some dialogue going on with uh, a number of studios as well. And lastly, I want to I want to finish on one of those uh, families, basically, of experiences is power play. And I, I respectively, uh, I heard the panel, panel and I respect their opinion. I have a slightly different perspective on, on the availability of of top quality um, uh, content for truly athletic, immersive VR in an arena format. And for us, that's what we call power play. Uh, Chanel will be talking about it in uh, subsequent um, presentations, and I think we'll have a video for you, hopefully, as well. But this is, uh, this is something that people come out and we, we've been validated multiple times. This is the first time that people actually do feel like running inside a headset. They come out with their heart rate up, and they're perspiring, and this is a very competitive match uh, type uh, experience, and we've implemented it so that it goes across our product line. We've got a version of AMP for our Atom two-player that can be networked with multiple systems, and we've got a version of AMP for a 30 by 30, and a 40 by 40, and up to our 40 by 60 Arena Pro. So st stay tuned for uh, more on, on power play when Chanel uh, takes the stage. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Thank you very much.